Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you a room tour of a deluxe studio standard view room here at Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. We just got all checked in and I'm really excited to show you around this room. We stayed here many years ago before the room was renovated so I'm really excited to check it out so let's go. We are in room 2922 so heading on in is this nice little entryway, the perfect amount of space to park a stroller, put a pack and play. And then this is the connecting door with a full length mirror. So very nice. And immediately to your right is the first bathroom because yes, there are two bathrooms <laughs> in this studio. This bathroom is giant. You could fit multiple pack and plays in here. This bathroom is huge. So you do have the toilet as well as a tub shower combo in here. And then here is the first vanity with some decent amount of storage in here. Those go pretty deep as well as some drawers right there and you do get some additional storage with these ledges here as well. Some really nice lighting for you ladies doing your makeup in here. So very, very nice. Some really fun Polynesian artwork in here. And then this does close off with this sliding barn door right here. So moving over one door down is the second bathroom. So this is a beautiful walk-in shower with your rainfall shower head. I mean, just gorgeous. And opening the door, you can see this really beautiful stone floor and just the tile detail here is so nice. And you do have some seating here as well as another little ledge and your H2O products. And then right here is another single vanity, same style, same setup as the other bathroom. You do have a little bit more counter space here. It just feels a little bit wider, but same thing, lots of storage. And here is your blow dryer and more storage as well. Same ledge with additional storage up here, your makeup mirror, very nice. This is where mom, you need to claim this bathroom and kiddos can have the other bathroom. But this setup is perfect for multiple family scenarios. Great if you need pack and plays in there. It's also great if you are traveling with, you know, maybe the grandparents are coming with you and everybody wants to be getting ready in the morning. At the same time, this provides some additional space for everyone to be in the bathroom at the same time, which is really, really valuable. This is one of very few DVC resorts that have this double bathroom style. So really, really nice. Okay, turning around is the closet. So you have your iron and ironing board, extra pillow and blanket. You have a laundry basket, some hangers, as well as your safe and even some more storage down there as well if you wanna put some shoes right there. And then you also have a luggage rack. Moving over to the side is your kitchenette. This is the perk of staying in a DVC studio because you have all of these extra amenities here. So one thing that I actually have never seen, and this might be a new upgrade, is an actual mini fridge with a freezer section, a dedicated freezer compartment and an actual refrigerator. So this is not your beverage cooler. This is a freezer and mini fridge. You also have a coffee pot, toaster, all of your coffee and tea essentials. You have some additional outlets here, as well as a sink, some dish soap, dish towels, sponge. If you need to wash out water bottles or regular bottles or anything like that, this is really nice to have a dedicated area for that. Down below here is your recycling and trash bin some paper towels up here, a microwave, and this is additional storage. So we like to put like a case of water up there and just keep that out of the way and then we can grab bottles of water to restock our fridge when we need to. And then right in here is more paper towels and then all of your plastic and paper goods in here. So coffee cups, 
uh, regular plastic cups, uh, plastic utensils, plates, bowls, so all kinds of stuff in here if you want to cook breakfast. This is a great way to do that. So we really like to do oatmeal or peanut butter toast or, you know, any of those items that require a microwave, a toaster, and, you know, this provides an option for that. So that's really, really nice. Okay, moving on to the main living area here. Actually, let me turn some lights on. Okay, that feels a little bit better. <laughs> so starting right here, you have your queen bed and some beautiful artwork right here with the bungalows on the water, you know, very fitting for Polynesian. And stepping right over here is your nightstand. You do have some additional storage below as well as an actual drawer. And one thing I really appreciate, so you have this light right here, but this light switch, goes directly over this side of the bed, but it's on a dimmer. So that is really nice. If you wanna stay up a little bit longer than the rest of your family, you have a dimmer light option. So I do really, really love that. And one thing that I just noticed right here is this drawer underneath the bed. So more storage under the bed with this actual drawer, but in addition to the drawer, the bed does have storage space underneath. So you can see I've already pushed my suitcase and bag underneath there. So you have room for your luggage as well, which is really, really great. Moving over to the other side of the bed, you have the exact same setup right here. Same thing, same light, same dimmer option on this side of the bed as well. And one thing that I just now saw that I need to double check is on the other side is outlets. So this is where you can find your outlets and USB ports right here. So that is fantastic. And let me double check. I mean, I'm assuming it's on this side as well. Yes. So same outlets and USB ports right there. So that is very nice. So that is where you can find those. Love this nightstand setup that is the same on each side. So you don't have to fight over who gets which side of the bed. So that is really great. And turning around is your TV with more storage up top, which when we walked in, these were left on our bed for us with a note from the housekeeping manager, which is incredible. I've never seen that happen before where we get Mickey Rice Krispie treats just because. So that is incredible. So thank you to the housekeeping staff here. But when you pull this down, this is gonna be your fifth sleeper bed. So you can find Lilo and Stitch right here and one thing as i just pulled this down this is much lower to the ground than other fifth sleeper bed options so if your little one has a tendency or maybe just you're nervous that they're going to fall out of the bed this is actually really great because it's so low to the ground so that's one thing to note other fifth sleeper beds in other resorts i've noticed are much higher up off the ground so that's very very nice and you do have an extra outlet over here so that is really really great coming right around we have ellie <laughs> playing with some play-doh being fantastic while i film this room tour but you have uh two chairs with a table so that's really nice having the additional seating and then i love the lamp <laughs> the little tiki lamp right here is so fun and then you have the hey disney um, thing going on right here so this is really fun it can tell you the weather you can ask for it to tell you a bedtime story or play music and do a sing-along do trivia i mean all kinds of stuff if you ever have the chance to play around with it it's a really fun interactive thing especially for kids you also have a pretty good size mirror right here so if yet another person <laughs> needs to be getting ready while both of the bathrooms are occupied this is another great option right here and then turning around is the pull down murphy bed with your couch and coffee table this also lifts up for more storage underneath. And let me go ahead and pull this down so you can see what this looks like pulled down because I think the artwork is just beautiful. I love the watercolor artwork here, but let me pull this down so you can see what it looks like. Okay, of course <laughs> you do have to 
push the coffee table away, but it's on wheels, so it's not, you know, it's not a whole thing. Okay, so my coffee table is a little bit in the way still, but this is what it looks like pulled down, and you still have a decent amount of space in between, so you're not just shoulder to shoulder at night. Um, you still have, like, a good amount of walking room in between both of the beds. Same thing right here lots of space still so even if you wanted to have this bed down the entire time you're staying here you still have plenty of room and i did want to note there is a light switch here it doesn't seem to be working right now but i looked up and i'm assuming it should be that light right there so that probably just needs to be replaced but typically there will be a light <laughs> right above this bed now stepping outside to the balcony, I always like to check out the curtains to see if there are any fun details. So I did notice you have the little Moana like emblem here as well as some Hawaiian flowers. So that is really pretty. But stepping out here, this is a standard view room with a really good size little patio out here. So two chairs and a table and I mean, really pretty for a standard view. So very, very peaceful. And you can actually see the bungalows right here with the water like kind of peeking through. But yeah, this is what a standard view is gonna get you. So this is really, really nice. All right, that concludes our room tour of this deluxe studio at Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. I hope this was helpful. Let me know down below in the comments if you have ever stayed in this room, what your thoughts are, if this is a bucket list room for you. I would love to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed if you want to check out all of the trip vlogs from this trip. I would love for you to stick around. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as well. It really does help support my channel. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Thanks.